Welcome back. In this video, you should have most of your integrated circuits completed for this uh, USB type A to USB type C converter here. Okay, this is what we're building from scratch. And the, the components make the entire design flow smoothly or with hiccups. So you want to get this part right. So in this video, I'll show you how to step by step add a component, a manufacturer, a part number and everything to your Altium 365 workspace properly along with any spice models it might have. Okay, so you wanna stick around, make sure you get all the steps done correctly. So first you wanna copy paste the manufacturer part number for your component. Then in Altium, the quick way is to go to manufacturer part search, search for that manufacturer part number, and to double check and make sure you can click on it and it will take you to the manufacturer part directly. Okay, I'm gonna right click and save to my workspace. And this is an integrated circuit. This is also a power supply essentially, because this is a DC to DC converter. Okay, what's cool is you can include this in your power distribution network simulation analysis, but um, that's fine. So now let's check mark. And it's interesting the control technique, you know, if that's important for you, you know, you control systems engineers out there. I do control systems engineering. And so this looks fine. Is it surface mount? Yes. Temperature grade, finish and all that information, all that jazz. Once this information has been added, you don't need the manufacturer part search window anymore. And here you can see the three model for the device on the footprints. Now, I don't see the 3D model preview on here. So what does that mean then? If I go to view and 3D layout mode, see, it's not there in this, it's not in this footprint. It's interesting that it's in this default footprint, however. So it'd be nice to have that on all of the footprints. Okay, so we have this PCB uh, 3D model, this PCB free footprint 3D model. And what I did was I copied this 3D model to here. So I'll show you the procedure to do that. You would open up your footprint. This is a kind of unusual situation, but you'd open up your footprint, right? And then go to tools and then choose to extract 3D models. Just to make sure I would click on 3D model first to make sure it's highlighted go to tools, extract 3D models, and then choose in the specified directory. I went ahead and created a, a specified directory that has like the beginning of the footprint name and the S3D and don't overwrite existing files, you know, just to be safe. I don't know if how this works or whether it's in the cloud already or in the lo it's in the local folder and then is committed to the cloud, but just gotta be safe, right? Once you do that and then click okay, it will export the 3D model very quickly to that folder. Then what you want to do is open your other PCB footprint like this, for instance, you can hit the pencil icon and choose place 3D body and we'll place that same 3D body we just exported right here. Luckily, the snap point is right and dead set in the middle and voila, right? So now just double check this, I would change my 3D view control and look at the bottom side and it's looking beautiful. And I'll go back to the top side there. So let's go ahead and right click and save this and then close. Then repeat the same process with this, with this uh, footprint. Add the 3D body, double check the view with the number three key, looks good. We'll control S to save and close that, close these windows. Now all of them have the 3D model. Great. The next thing is to choose the name for this component, the manufacturer part number. This is a good detailed description, but I want a short description. So we're going to go to DigiKey and on DigiKey's website, I'll put the manufacturer part number, copy that short description name, use that for the name of the component. Okay. So I'm going to right click, save, I see regular buck, but you know, Buck regulators and switch mode power converters, manufacturers sometimes have this, you know, have these available. So let's take a look and see if it has this option here to design tools and signal. P Spice unencrypted transient model. So this is great. What we can do is include this in the simulation or include this in the library as well. So we're going to right click extract all, open up this folder. And how we would treat this is we need this dot lib file to be added to the simulation. So we'll 
instead of choosing new, you want to choose existing. Okay. And then you could select existing models like simulation models, right? But here's what we'll do. We'll choose, we'll choose new and then go to local, then choose browse, select browse. Then you go to your downloads, IC regulator, PCH, and this folder will pick the lib. Now what's in this lib folder, I mean this lib file, this is a, you can open this as like a text file really. You would select your device that you want um, from this library. It has a ton of things you can simulate. And here, see the manufacturer part number is typically what you want to look for. Then you would select your model pins. It knows which model pins are available. You don't want to go with necessarily just the pin number. You want the pin names to match. So enable is that pin, pin number two, feedback. If you want the pins to match the schematic pins exactly, then you can modify the schematic pins themselves. But I usually don't, I usually don't bother. Okay, so we're just matching these pin names up. The exposed thermal pad might be PWPD for power pad. And that, just knowing that kind of just comes with experience. So spice sub circuit looking good. This is the model file that gives you an idea of what that all is. And then you could choose P spice as your option. Let's say you want the steady state value. You can show that in the component. Okay, that gives you more options for, for you spice simulators out there, people who like to simulate. You can add more footprints in spice simulations, but this is good. So congratulations on adding your 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 maybe your first spice model to the Altium 365 workspace. Now you can right click, close this, save. Everything will get saved and committed to the server. New uh, switching regulator, right with the description, hit enter, and then it will save it to your Altium online workspace or maybe an offline server. It's totally up to, up to how your organization is set up. That was so easy. So now let's go to the components. I will search for the part I just added. Now when I double click, I cannot create a file that, okay. So when I search for this and I double click on it, it becomes available. I will save this file and uh, save the schematic just to make sure things are good and it's saved. So this is how you would add, you know, you add your manufacturer part, save it to your workspace, include a simulation, a piece by simulation model and how to match the pins on that simulation model. Then you go to your checklist and you check that off and you're done. Okay.